Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am going to do a first impression, let's play review of a game called Core Ridden. And uh, as always with all of my first impression let's play reviews, I'm going to be playing the game for an hour or more until I am satisfied that I can give you my opinion on the game. If you are in a hurry and you don't want to watch the full one hour or whatever of the video, then you can simply skip to the last 10 minutes or so of the video. I will put a timestamp in the description below and uh, you can just skip to the end and I will give you my quick, concise, final opinion on the game and tell you whether or not I can recommend the game but if you are not in a hurry you can just stay tuned and I will be playing the game and giving you my running commentary as I play through the game and uh, tell you what I think is good and bad about the game as we play through the game. So uh, first off the game is right now not yet available. Um, I don't know what the price of the game is and I don't know what the release date of the game is. So normally when I do my reviews I know what the price is. So uh, if the game is very bad but it only costs five dollars then I could maybe still recommend it but if the game is very bad and it costs sixty dollars like uh, Starfield or something like that then I definitely won't recommend it. So uh, the price is quite important when it comes to recommending a game. So I don't have a price for this game. So I'm just going to have to um, basically recommend the game without a price. Oh, we just got a... Uh, uh, trailer of some kind i didn't even press anything okay well let's let's watch this pretty cool uh, the uh, uh, thing okay thank you I don't want to watch that again it seems that it plays that when you go AFK for a while um, there's quite a lot of pixelation in that uh, video uh, they definitely need to to do something about that it might just be because I, I'm running the game at 4k resolution and that means that if the video uh, isn't rendered in 4k then there is going to be some pic pixelation but i still think they definitely should should have a look at that because um that doesn't look good you know seeing seeing that level of pixelation in a a cinematic is not not very good but um oh, that's cool i actually haven't seen any gameplay of the game yet um, so that actually is not too bad. It gives you a, a pretty good idea of what the game will be. Um, uh, I just want to say one thing. Let's all tab over here. One thing before we start today. Um, like I said, the game is not yet available on Steam. Uh, I do have the 
game the developer sent me a code for the game so thanks a lot to the developer and the PR agency representing the developer for sending me a code very much appreciated as you can see um, I'm the only person who is playing the game right now um, literally zero people online and I had a look on on uh, YouTube um, there is no gameplay available for this version of the game that I'm playing so there was a uh, demo done about four months ago four or five months ago there was a demo um, but it's only a demo even though this at the bottom right says demo it is the very latest version of the demo and I'm pretty sure I'm I'm one of the only people who have uh, uh, who is doing content on this um, version of the game right now like I said um, I don't think I, I don't know what the release date of the game is um, and I don't know what the price is yet there is a um, Kickstarter that is starting up for the game pretty soon but it's not up yet and um, so if you want to basically support the game and get in on the ground floor of the game then definitely check out the kickstarter i will leave a um, link to that in the description below but obviously this video is not sponsored i'm not getting paid for this video nothing like that it just looks like a cool game and the developers were nice enough to send me uh, code um, so the least I could do is just point you guys towards the Kickstarter and one thing that is good about Kickstarters is that you all, almost always get the game at a cheaper price than what it will be on, on Steam so once it releases on Steam I've seen some games that release on steam then they're like 40 dollars but the kickstarter you can get at like 20 20 dollars 25 dollars sometimes so um kickstarter is a really nice way to just get cheap games i've supported a lot of campaigns on kickstarter and i've gotten a lot of uh quote unquote discounts um that way so it, it's just a really nice way to support the developers as well uh, i also think that um i'm pretty sure if you support on kickstarter the developers don't have to give the 30 percent to valve because obviously if you buy a game on steam then 30 percent of the the value goes to valve to goes to steam um, so I'm pretty sure that on Kickstarter that's not something that um, happens. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look here. Kickstarter fee percentage. I've actually never had a look at this. 5%. There you go. So 5%. So if you buy the game on, on, on Steam, the developers basically lose 30% of the value that you're paying but on kickstarter is only five percent so it's a really nice way to support the developers if you really want to make sure that the maximum amount of your money actually goes to the developers you know that's that's why i like for instance nexus.gg so much because uh nexus gg does the exact same thing you um give a, a larger percentage or the developers receive a larger percentage of your money from any games that you purchase than what uh they would receive if you bought the game on steam so i even use my own nexus.gg link to purchase games for myself because um, it's just a really nice way to support the developers as well so um, yeah if you want to support these developers as much as possible um, then go ahead and support them on on uh, kickstarter um, i will see if i do that as well i mean i already have the key but perhaps i will just 
like grab another key from Kickstarter and just donate that. I don't know. I, I will see. But um, it's just a really nice way to support the developers as well. So, um, yeah, like I said, game is not released yet. Uh, I am playing the latest version of the game. I had a look on Twitch. There's not a single person who has streamed this game in the past four months like not a single person and also on youtube i couldn't find a single uh video that uh shows this um version of the game which is the latest version of the game so you guys are uh, going to see the most up-to-date version of the game so if we look at the settings menu everything looks pretty good um you are able to change between a whole bunch of uh resolutions all the way down to 480p which is really nice all the way up to 6k resolution of if your graphics card can handle that mine can handle it but this game will probably tear it apart because you can only really play the the lowest games on 6k resolution while um getting 60 fps so like uh, league of legends and those types of games i have played on my on my computer at 6k resolution um uh, whilst having 60 fps but you will not be able to play most games uh, at, at 6k resolution and then quality uh, we're running it on, on high right now i will see how the performance of the game is once we actually um, get into the game i can show you guys over here uh, right now okay that's a little bit small let's just make it a little bit bigger right now the game is consuming um, 220 watts of power usage so that's that's not a, a massive amount but the maximum is 310 on this graphics card so we are about 60 percent to towards maxing out my my uh, graphics card so i will see once we are actually in the game uh if we can put it up to ultra uh, but otherwise in that high quality full texture size we're not using uh nvidia dlss or or any other kind of up uh, upscaling which would reduce the quality and then we're uh, we are uh, running at, at 2k resolution i'm also recording at 2k resolution and will obviously be uploading at 2k resolution even though youtube does downgrade the quality slightly um, so there's no options for um, uh, motion blur there's no options for depth of field anything like that so i hope that the game doesn't have motion blur or depth of field um, if the game does have that and you can't turn it off, then I will be deducting points from the game uh, for that. Otherwise than that, uh, really good uh, screen options. It has all four of the possible um, screen options. I've played a whole bunch of games and reviewed a whole bunch of games in the past year that don't have all four of them so this game has all four of them so that's very good uh, you often see games that are 50 dollars 60 dollars 70 dollars that don't have all four of them so this is an indie game and it actually has all four of the different required display modes which is really good you can't set your fps which is something that i don't like you you really should be able to set your fps so uh, whether you want to play the game at 30 fps 60 fps 120 fps 144 fps 240 fps whatever the game should allow you to uh, select it and the, currently the game does not allow you to do that but as i said the game is not yet released so everything that you see in the game basically um can and probably will be improved so yeah uh, the game also does have um multiplayer as we saw in that little um 
uh, trailer thing that played there at the beginning. But I'm pretty sure if we look for sessions, we will not find any because, as I said, I'm the only person playing the game. It says so right on Steam. Literally, I'm the only person playing the game right now. So, um, yeah, we're not going to be able to find a multiplayer game. But um, when the game actually releases, you will be able to play the game multiplayer. And you will be able to play the game in co-op mode. So let's have a look here. Standard brave enemies deal 50% more damage and are more aggressive. Loot quality is slightly increased. Now, um, this is something that I always have an issue with when I see it. It's it's good that it says the exact amount of extra damage. That's good. But then it doesn't say the amount of increased loot. So that's not good. It should be saying 50% and then loot quality increased by 10% or 20% or 50% or whatever. So the developers did good there, but then they messed up over here by not telling you exactly how much increased loot quality there is. And then here it says uh, double damage, so that's a that's a hundred percent more damage. And then loot quality is increased. Once again, it doesn't say here ten percent, twenty percent, thirty percent, fifty percent, hundred percent, whatever you know. So that is an issue. Then when we go to Explorer, which is the easy mode, enemies deal half of their normal damage and are more passive. So that half is obviously fifty percent less damage so that is a quite significant difference you know in in the damage that the enemies deal i mean th this is 100 percent. so this is minus 50 percent and this is plus 100 percent so if you compare explorer to veteran mode then you will be receiving five times less damage on uh, explorer mode than what you receive on veteran literally 500 percent less damage uh, unless my maths are is completely messed up because this is 100 percent this is half of 100 percent and this is 200 percent so actually that would be four yeah that would be four times less not five times less it's four times less so you receive four times less damage on explorer than what you do on veteran so veteran will result in you taking four times more damage than what you do on explorer uh, difficulty um, I, I would have honestly played on veteran mode if only I knew what the loot quality was like if it if it's like 50% increased then I will play on this difficulty I have no problem at all with taking a, a, a higher difficulty if I know that I am being rewarded and I know how much I am being rewarded but if this is like 20% then it's not worth it you know 20% extra loot for 200% more damage that's not worth it you know so um, I think we're just probably gonna play on normal to be honest I think normal is is totally fine um, okay so can you choose what what difference does this actually make New character. Okay, so it doesn't seem that this actually does anything, but um, you can select your... I don't know if this is just your character model, or if it is actually your class or anything like that. Um... I can't actually see. Can you zoom in? No, you can't zoom in. Um, so, what's this? Oh, okay. 
Um, so I can't even see, is that a male or is it a female? This is obviously male. This is obviously male. This one might be a female. I'm not too sure. But let's take Lily. Just because I know she's a female and I like to play female characters. And uh, then, yeah, that's fine. New game, normal, standard. There we go. After just one week of desperate struggle, the city of Asha was overrun and sealed shut. Suddenly humans were left without a home on a planet they barely knew. 200 years after the exodus, the descendants of those who fled Asha have learned to live among dangerous beasts without the technology they used to rely on. Many have attempted to break the seal and reclaim the riches of the old city. But something stirs in the empty, forgotten streets. And it will soon wake. Okay, so you, you have WAS and D movement. Let me just do this over here quickly. Uh, F, examine. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, left click, melee attack. Okay, what's that over there? Your stamina. Okay, so the game has a stamina system. Right click is uh, dodge. To my champs, here's a gift from Dad. New pairs of Prana bracers for each of you. You might look a bit clumsier than usual, but give them a try. These probably haven't been used since the Exodus, so almost like brand new. Your old gauntlets are quite battered. I'm sure these old, these ones will make you stronger. I'll be watching you fight afterwards. It's back to work in our repair shop as usual. Meet me there, Charby. jump to reach new places pressing the attack button in the air will result in an air attack okay but you just have to jump precisely you can't jump and bump your head against it because then you're not gonna hit it okay so i don't see anything else here you can sprint with shift as well Yeah, I don't see really anything. There's something down here. Can we go out here? Cannot exit yet. Okay. Welcome, fine citizens of Quilan, to this year's anniversary show. Today, we celebrate the colonists who fled the old capital, Asha founded our city. Thanks to them, we shall still survive on our beautiful but deadly planet. As tradition goes, several talented Prana warriors will fight against fierce foes to honor our gods and ancestors. First up, the team of four siblings from the tech-savvy Dayal family. Like, I don't like the fact that you can't... Um, disable subtitles like you should be able to disable subtitles there's absolutely no options for subtitles go to the middle of arena let's first have a look what's all of this beast mastery skills okay apparently i'm guardian i guess we might be able to change that later maybe So we can't do too much right now. Let's 
all right everyone get yourself together this is another step towards becoming a champion so we can finally become rich and famous will become the strongest and loved by everyone what's happening go go power rangers okay apparently we got teleported for some reason Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Apparently you can uh, you can die just by running off the edge. I mean I, I I like that. I like it. Might seem weird that I like the fact that you can die, but uh, I like it. Too many games are too restrictive. Too many games will put up invisible walls and not let you like fall or die or anything like that you know like diablo or uh, titan quest or path of exile anything like that they really limit your your freedom with regards to just doing dumb shit you know i like that the color. Can we can we jump? Like I'm not even sure where to go. It still says go to the middle of the arena, but obviously we were at the middle of the arena, and um, we uh, we got teleported. Oh, we got teleported. Those bastards can fly over the edge of the map. That's irritating. Just when I complimented the game on uh, being able to fall down, I, I now get screwed by my own words because the enemies can actually use it to their advantage by uh, like hovering over the edge and then just attacking you with ranged attacks. That's... That, that makes it interesting. I mean, that's that's nice. Can we zoom in and out? No. No, there's no zooming in and out, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of games that don't put stuff in your inventory. Like, I've always said that uh, a lot of games uh, like throw the loot on the ground when they should really just put the loot in your inventory like there's no real reason to throw loot on the ground unless you either receive a shitload of loot like constantly like something like uh borderlands for instance borderlands 2 borderlands 3 it will be pretty impractical in a game like that simply because you receive a stupid amount of loot you know like in a single battle oh you can even swim that's really cool um uh, in a single battle you can receive like 10 weapons 15 weapons you know and you only have a certain amount of inventory space um even though the inventory space is a problem created by the developers so they could simply uh, eliminate that uh, problem by uh, increasing your inventory you know making your inventory really really big then re there would really not be any real reason or any real drawback uh, for not putting the loot in your inventory automatically when you when you loot something or when an enemy drops something you know uh, let's have a look here hold right click to charge shoot your human and monster form have one each have one energy bar each energy is used for melee attacks range attacks and active abilities okay. um so I, I don't know how big is this inventory okay so there and there okay so it, it's not massive like it's uh, five five so that's 25 so that's 50 slots 50 slots is actually not too bad and uh, certainly if you can in enhance your inventory uh, make your inventory bigger eventually 
that will be uh, really good as well. Uh, invasive movement. Look out for red enemies who glow to know when an attack is incoming. Uh, dodging makes you invincible. Okay. That's not bad. So dodging will be yeah, pretty important, especially in boss fights, probably. Um, but yeah, like I said, um, I personally prefer it if um, loot is automatically put into your inventory. Simply because it's really not easy. If you think about a game like Titan Quest or Grim Dawn or Diablo or Path of Exile, any of those types of games, it's really not easy to um, make the loot drop from enemies and chests and that kind of stuff and have them be easily collectible as well. Like, very, very few games do that well, you know. Allow you to... The map is pretty cool. Allow you to... Um, uh, have loot dropped on the ground but also make the loot easily uh, 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 pick upable you know very few games are able to do that you know that is why it's just easier to make the loot go into your inventory automatically uh, but then like i said the issue that you then have i can't even swim that way the current is very strong uh, the issue that you then have is that your inventory size must be big like you, you can't have um uh loot go into your inventory automatically and have a small inventory because your inventory is just going to be filled up really really quickly um so the developers basically have to choose um uh, but like i say the reason why i prefer um loot to be automatically sucked into your inventory is because a developer should do everything in their power to uh avoid unnecessary inventory management and unnecessary inventory management um, can be dramatically reduced by just giving the player a very big inventory because the developer has to decide do they want the player to spend 10 minutes doing inventory management or do they want the player to spend 10 minutes playing the game and gaining experience and exploring the world and that kind of stuff, you know? Um, and unfortunately, a lot of developers like um, Blizzard and just a lot of developers uh, choose to go the route of needless inventory management. So many games have just a shitload of needless inventory management um so when you could be exploring the world and gaining experience and killing enemies instead you have your fucking inventory screen open and you're sorting out your inventory because your 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 inventory is too small you need to throw some some items on the ground like if you think about diablo or Path of Exile, any of those games, you, you're constantly throwing items on the ground or teleporting back to the base to sell or stash or whatever. It's just like the developers need to realize that's not fun. It's not fun to uh, constantly look at your inventory and sort out your inventory. So sprinting and then... Uh, auto run towards mouse so you can just press control then you don't need to use the movement buttons even though i'm not a huge fan of that the constant running um i would rather just control my character 
with WASMD instead of having it on constantly run towards my um, mouse. Um, so yeah, I, I, I personally think the game would be better if it, uh, loot was just sucked into your inventory. Um, but I don't know, uh, let's see how the developers approach um, inventory management. Maybe inventory management won't be so bad in this game. Okay, uh, shape shift tab, your human and monster form ha have one energy bar each. Energy is used, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so if you use up this energy bar, you, you could just wait, like it's totally fine to wait, or you can just swap. So um, you can just swap, and then you have a full energy bar again. So that's pretty interesting. That actually... Um, definitely will encourage swapping because um, you you get free energy when swapping well this one is certainly uh, more hard hitting than um, the other ones why am I strafing now I was strafing there for a while Maybe the, the AI knocked onto something. Like gold is automatically picked up. That's nice. That's at least good. The game looks very pretty so far, I have to say. Oh shit. Actually didn't mean to jump down there. Can we go up again? Jump, jump, jump. No, we can't go. This isn't Skyrim where you can uh, scale a mountain with a horse. Here you actually have to do some uh, pathfinding. Let's see anything else. I don't want to fall down again, but I do want to explore on the cliff edge. But yeah, everything looks nice. Everything looks nice and colorful. I I like the aesthetic. Uh, let's see if we can bump it up to Ultra. Right now, it's using 240 watts. Like I said, the maximum of my graphics card is 310. Even though I don't want the game to constantly be running at 310. Okay. Well, it... Uh, looks fine we are still in the green so we're now running on ultra and 2k resolution you cannot experience the game at a higher quality than we are uh, seeing it at right now so there's a big river here we can maybe cross the river but we first should explore the stop area completely I also think you should probably be aware of not hitting enemies off the edge uh, because you might lose some loot. I'm not sure how the loot works. If if you kill an enemy and it drops off the edge, does it drop the loot on the body or does it drop the, the loot somewhere else? That is something that we still need to determine. Uh, equipment tab inventory tab open the equipment tab to view your equipment select this tab slot okay so you uh, do we have anything how do we okay nothing there nothing there um okay we have that one nothing there nothing there training sword versus simple spear 9 to 19 Shit, that's a lot more. Okay, so we're going to take that one. Training bow. Divine headpiece. Okay. So that's a lot more damage. That's like triple damage. Okay, so we were there already. I also don't know if the game has full damage yet. 
we will have to see if the game has full damage or not. Okay, the camera really freaks out if you go close to the edge of um, the map. So the checkpoint automatically gets picked up. That's nice. Once again, like I said, you don't want the player to do anything that they don't need to do. So instead of running over to that thing and clicking on it like you would have to do in something like Diablo, for instance, um, it is simply automatically activated, which saves the, the player uh, time. I just did a different attack. I wonder how I did that one. I have no idea how I did that attack. Is it like a combo? Oh, so it depends. Like this is a bite. And then this is a tail swipe. This is a tail swipe. This is a bite. So it depends in what direction you are looking at when you attack if if there's an enemy behind you and you press up and attack then it will do a tail swipe if there's an enemy in front of you and you attack to the front it will do a bite so that's actually really nice it's a very intuitive form of combat okay yeah 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 i already got that tutorial transform uh, i'm not a fan of the fact that you have to transform back to a human to do certain interactions definitely not a fan of that because like i said anything that makes you do anything unnecessary like transforming unnecessarily is uh something that the developer should avoid okay so that's the edge we can't go down it also leveled up i think yes because i'm seeing plus over here so uh power increases melee damage by three percent fragmentation increases physical range damage and all damage over time three percent and then all damage over time two percent uh, stability increases health and stability less chance to get staggered six percent health and ten percent stability battery increases maximum energy energy generation ten percent and fifteen percent and then element increases heat electric and poison damage on a melee and range attack it also increases ability power by three percent okay so i think i'm gonna go for battery uh and stability for right now because those by far give the most benefit uh, let's see statutes okay that's nothing guardian skills so am i am i not able to choose my class i guess i mean these these things over here are oh I, you can okay 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 so you can choose so a uh, guardian specialized in physical damage mostly bunt damage and defense can also support allies with defensive shields and minor healing hunter is uh, ranged quick sharp attacks use various traps specializes in chemical and poison element fighter uses fire and heat element specializes in healing and keep and keeping the team alive and then surge class that masters en energy and the electric element can steal or regenerate energy to themselves and allies so I think I'm going to go for Helion. I like healing myself in uh, games. So Helion. And uh, it says that some skills are not available 
in the demo but we have all of the skills so i think that that text over there uh, like i said we are not technically playing the demo this is the full game it's just that it is like before the quick the kickstarter is released so we have all of these skills unless the developer means that they're gonna eventually add more skills that is possible um, but right now it looks like we have all of the skills. So, uh, burst ring blasts out the fire ring that damages enemies around you. Scorch enemies takes five per five times damage, but the scorch effect will expire when hit. So if you cast it multiple times, that will take five times damage. That's pretty nice. And it looks like an area of effect around you. Uh, flame blade set your melee weapon ablaze to add the heat damage and chance of scorch enemies energy cost nine duration seven this one's energy cost is 10 and it is a 15 second cooldown so that's actually a very long cooldown how the hell are you even supposed to use it twice well, you can't. I mean, 15 second cooldown. So you're going to have to scorch the enemies with this and then uh, get the 5 times scorch damage bonus with this. You're not going to be able to cast this multiple times. And then over here, healing zone creates a healing zone. All allies inside over time. 30 HP per second. Energy cost 8. Lifetime 10 cooldown 22 seconds heavenly strike strike an enemy with force from above allies in the area will be healed i wonder if that means you as well will you as well be healed regen 45 per second duration one second okay so that deals damage and it heals 45 basically even though I'm pretty sure you should be able to increase the, the length eventually. Uh, increases your damage while on critically low health. Uh, it would be nice if it actually told you what critical, critically low health is. You know, like is it below 20%? Is it below 30%? Like what is critically low health? That would be a really useful to know so healing zone will be really nice just to heal overall i think we're going to take one in that right from the beginning heal that way we can basically never die as long as we don't die in a single hit basically um okay so did i already go over there where do i need to go find the way out okay so it's probably over here to the left i just want to make sure that we're not missing something over here or is it over there okay well i think it is probably over there so let's first go over here are you friendly you made it past the compatibility Com compatibility test and the linking process is complete. Who are you? My name is Maya. I'm your AI assistant. AI? Artificial intelligence. I'm residing inside your gauntlets. As long as you wear them, I'm part of you already. Uh, always ready when you need assistance or guidance. What is this place? We are just about to fight in the arena. What are these devices? They're not like reg regular prana gauntlets. This is a sort of illusion created by me. I will send you back in the arena soon. But first, I need to warn you. The inter internal nan nano emitter has been damaged due to long inactivity. You must repair them at the place they were created to stop the risk of uncontrollable transformation. Uncontrollable transformation? I've seen it happen before. If that were to happen, you could lose control not just over your body, but your mind as well. You would start destroying everything around you. Then maybe you should take these off before. No, you shouldn't do that. Removal of the gauntlet can trigger the malfunction. The gauntlets need to be repaired at the place where they were created. And where is that? I'm sorry, I don't. I do not seem to have the location data 
in these gauntlets. Then how the solution cannot be sustained for any longer. I need to send you back to the reality. Don't worry. I exist to serve humans. I will figure this out. Okay, well, I don't want to go back right now. Can't I? No, apparently I don't. So, uh, whatever was there at the top, unfortunately, I, I can't. I can't see what that was. I really don't like that they're pulling you out you out without warning you and without allowing you to explore the area further, but um, what can you do? Stamina. It's over. The day owls made it. This fight was wild. I've never seen anything like this. So another thing is that you can't use your magic or probably any of um, the skills that you select here while you are in the, the beast mode thing. Which I guess makes sense. I don't know about you folks, but I can't wait to see these warriors in action again! Yeah, so unfortunately we can't go back to that area there clearly was more to explore in that area but unfortunately we were pulled out i don't like that but what can we do now we have full health already thank you very much get home and talk to charby Uh, what am I to do? My poor Titan. Ramox, what's wrong with him? He's got them parasites that make him weak. It's usually quite easy to cure. He needs to eat fish mushrooms. They're poisonous for most animals, but not for Ramoxes. I went to the market to buy some, but they're out of stock. I'm scared that he might get worse if I can't get any soon. Where... Can I find one of these mushrooms? Usually people collect them from the wild and then sell them at the market. I heard they grow inside caves. They have a strong purple color. I'll see if I can find anything. Titan and I would be so thankful. So it seems they uh, befriend some of the, the beasts, I guess I can say. Okay, the camera doesn't allow me to look here at the back, which uh, the camera should allow you to turn or whatever. Um, I'm also not a fan of the fact that uh, some of the game is voiced and then some of the game is not voiced. Cannot no mount available okay so apparently if i go over there but there's something there but i can't even fucking see it so okay so there's a lot of the game that is obscured by the camera angle that is definitely not good and yeah like i said if you're gonna put voice acting in your game Go balls to the wall. Make everything voice acted. Because I don't like the fact that only some of the, fu the stuff in the game is voice acted. 
uh, dials. I can't tell if the gods have blessed you or if demons have possessed you. Neither. It's these new Prana Gauntlets. No Prana Gauntlets, that's for sure. Summon weapons of a light are one thing, but shape shifting. I think it would be wise for you to hand those gauntlets over. We don't know if that kind of tech is safe. Well, they have this little defect, so we can't remove them until we've repaired them. Can't take them off. You couldn't come up with anything better. It's true. I don't think any of us want to try it and end up hurt. If they're really dangerous, then we should put you in custody until the problem is solved for the safety of the people. How are we going to fix these gauntlets if you are locked away? I'm fine. Get out of here and fix those damn gauntlets. We are keeping an eye on you. You better not use those bars in town. Okay, guard. Guard missions apparently. A little bit of stuttering there for some reason. The game has been surprisingly stutter free so far. Holy shit, now we're getting to technology area. I thought this game was like uh, set in, in the medieval times basically. But apparently they have fucking lights and technology and generators and everything. Kind of teleport, okay. Even like uh, bloody, what's this? Uh, antennas and stuff like that on the on the roof. Okay, forge. Don't know what that is. I guess we might get the tutorial up for that. Uh, that was amazing. I've never seen powers like yours before. They are good, but they have a defect. Defect it shouldn't be a problem for this family. Go and ask your aunt Ira for help. No one can beat her engineering skills. You mean we need to leave the city? You're capable enough of handling yourself out there, and your dad isn't here, so he can't argue against me. Uh, Ira visited me yesterday to pick up some medications. She mentioned heading out of town at her camp in a river edge mines. You can take our old boat on the east side of the harbor to get there. I'll head out on my own. The rest should stay behind and help in the shop. I'll head there if we need. Good luck out there. Leveling up. Class skills, beast masteries, blah, blah, blah. okay, yeah, well, I already, already got that. Okay, so your beasts can also get, like, masteries and stuff. Holy shit. That's pretty cool. So, so, like, maybe every beast can get a mastery, a different mastery, because this is the Pantelus, Pantelus. And I'm assuming that um, uh, the other beasts can as well. That will be really cool, actually. Okay, so, wow, 60 HP regen per second. Holy hell. Okay, let's go for that. 60 is insane. Uh, okay, so we have... Uh, can we have the U and the I open at the same time? No, we can't. So... You can't have your inventory and your equipment uh, screen open at the same time. Um, these purple, well not purple, uh, cayenne little icons are those that we have currently equipped. Um, how do you actually compare? Shift? No. How do you actually compare? So that's one angle. That's a level 3, you can't use that yet. Like, it doesn't seem that you can compare, can, can you? Okay, 
No, doesn't seem like there's any comparing in the game. That's really bad. Ah, there we go. Right click. Okay, so right click compare. Okay, so uh, unfortunately I had to figure that out on my own. Uh, the game can certainly use a better tutorial, to be honest. But um, anyway, okay. So now we have the the pound something something. Can we compare these as well? Yes, we can. Okay, so. Uh, at the top is the new one, at the bottom is the old one. Um, it has a whole bunch of modifiers. Form shell, creature, houndra, armor, melee, jaws, light, shot. So I'm assuming like that one is light, this one is heavy. So that will based on maybe your skills or maybe based on your equipment. It might make one more powerful than the other. Like, for instance, if you get something that says plus 20 to light attacks or plus 20 to jaws attacks or something like that, then it will affect one but not the other. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, so this one has jaws attack and this one has jaws attack and tail attack. So that's blunt damage, that's sharp damage, that's sharp damage. The sharp damage is more than the other one. And then that one has 20 ability power. This one is 20 ability power and a whole bunch of other stuff. Blunt damage resistance, pierce resistance, physical damage taken reduced by 0 0.3. So the, this one is clearly better than this one but i want to see what the skills of this one is uh, also because it's uh, um, a new beast I, I i want to try all of the beasts that i can um just because i mean we are reviewing the game so it wouldn't really be super um smart to just stick to a single beast you know for the purposes of the review we should try to do as many beasts as possible so that we can see how they compare to each other okay so those are staying there obviously um if we were playing multiplayer then they would be running around and all that kind of stuff okay we can't go up there uh, forge, respec, fast travel. Can we fast travel? That's this house, I think. Yes. Okay, travel to River Reach Mines. Little bit of stutter there. In fact, that was a pretty big stutter. Um, I'm not going to read any of this anymore, to be honest. We are going to be spending a lot of time reading if we read anything and um, ouch i don't want to um, spend an inordinate amount of time reading but yeah like i said uh i would honestly prefer if the game was either fully voiced or not any voice at all uh, they should just have um, consistency throughout the game, in my opinion. So I'm not really seeing anything. They said something about a boat, so perhaps this is one of the boats over here. What does the map say? Okay, so the map... I like the map. The map looks nice. The map is well done. Uh, very few games, oh we get a little bit more stutter, um, very few games have 3D maps, um, so I like that. Trade, okay so a whole bunch of weapons, good good, not gonna spend money on weapons right now. We can just run through the entire city just to make sure that there's not any... Um, any quest givers we are missing maybe 
In fact, I think, oh no, we can't, we can't teleport, oh, not the teleport tran uh, transform. I just pressed tab, which is the transformation key, and it didn't do anything. So you clearly can't transform inside the city. I don't like the camera angle. Like, you should be able to uh, have a better camera angle. Like, over here, like, I can't see shit. Okay, so, yeah, I don't think there's anything more in the city. But, like I said, I like the map. The map is a really nice. It's actually really detailed. It shows elevation really well, all of that kind of stuff. So I really like the map. The map is well done. It's certainly a lot better than a game like Starfield. I mean, Starfield doesn't even have a fucking map in the cities. So the fact that this indie studio can do such a good map, like a really good map, um, and yet a, what are they worth, 50 billion dollars probably, Bethesda? A 50 billion dollar company can't even put a rudimentary map in their game. That just shows you how fucking useless some AAA developers are these days. So yeah, press M, I already know that, thank you very much. Let's see, is there anything over here? So you, you can swim... But um, the question is, how far can you swim? Like, is there actually a limit? The water quality is also really nice. Ah, oh, secret. Uh, can you swim faster if you trans uh, transform? No, it doesn't really look like it. There's more over there to the right, so let's have a look. Okay, nothing there. Nothing here. I don't see any land masses over there anymore. I mean, there might be a, a, a secret there, but... Probably not. And the water looks really good. I'm really impressed by the graphics of the game. The graphics are really bloody good. Like, honestly, it looks better than a game like Diablo 4, for instance. I mean, Diablo 4's graphics are stylized, you know? It, it's... I mean, they could maybe have made the graphics better in Diablo 4 if they really wanted to. But I prefer this by far over a game like Diablo 4's graphics. And I mean, that just once again goes to prove that quote-unquote AAA developers these days, uh, for the past 10-15 years, are just... Not really shitty. Like, indie companies are making better games than triple uh, A developers. I mean, I don't even need to say it, but a game like Grim Dawn is simply better than a game like Diablo 4. That just once again goes to prove that triple uh, A developers don't mean shit. This one does a lot of damage and attacks really quickly. Now again I have to trans transform. I'm not a huge fan of that and then I need to transform back again. That's just unnecessary in my opinion.
as soon as I get a little bit low, I'm gonna just pop out of uh, the transform and then just heal. Uh, sprinting consumes no stamina um, outside of combat, which is nice. That is a, a thing that I have mentioned multiple times. I, in fact, mentioned it in my Zelda review and in my Pal World review. Both of those games, you consume stamina when you are um, running outside of combat. So, um, this is already something that this developer is doing better than both Nintendo with Zelda and um, whatever the developers the of Palworld are. You know? uh, okay, aim, right click, fire, equip a creature's ranged item to use ranged attack in beast form. Okay, how the holy hell would we do that? Is that the... no? Jaws? Tail? Poison spit. Okay, poison spit. Where... Where's the equip... Ah, oh, there we go. Poison spit. Okay. Okay, so we, we have poison spit apparently. Uh, so... Electric shock as well. So you get a whole bunch of abilities for your character and then a whole bunch of abilities and equipment for your beast as well. That's really cool. Uh, let's heal. Uh, the healing is absolutely insane. Then we just transform back and sprint like crazy. We, we basically get the zoomies. You can literally get zoomies in this game. <laughs> Come on, bastards. Now, I really like this game so far, I have to say. There's issues, you know, there's issues. But, uh, honestly, uh, that's small issues. It's just really quality of life stuff, you know, like the fact that you can't zoom in on, in or out. Um, the fact that the camera is not very good. Um, just a really small quality of life stuff that would just really make your playing experience a little bit more fun. But it's not like game killers, you know. It's not gonna kill the game for you. Or kill your fun with the game. Importantly. Come here, come here. Literally, when you're running, the... Like, you, you have momentum. So you can't just stop and turn around. Like, you have fucking momentum. That's also a nice little added thing. Actually, should try the poison spit. Wow, the range is very low. Oh no, wait! You just need to point. You need to point very far. Okay. Uh, you can literally get zoomies, like zoom. Literally get zoomies in this game. The map is also really big. Yeah, hopefully there's not fall damage. Okay, there will probably be fall damage, maybe. You can only open the chest from this side, not from that side. That's something that I don't like. Jump! I almost jumped in the wrong direction there, but I uh, corrected it at the very last second. Like the shadows are really well done. 
there's actually physics like when you run through the plants there's actually physics fire attack could burn these roots away okay i don't have i don't have a fire attack right now oh, wait um no uh let's have a look here electric shot oh, that's electric damage so is that uh poison shot okay so uh chemical damage three per second electric damage six per second projectiles three projectiles one so energy cost fire rate 2.1 launch speed maximum distance so that one says maximum distance zero but it's clearly not zero um but okay yeah this one this one seems better for for single target this one will certainly be better so we can equip that one and then andra spitter what what am I right now? Andra Saber Horn. Poison Spit. Ah, oh, that one is definitely better. Uh, I don't like the fact that when you equip something it immediately jumps over to here. Um it, it shouldn't do that to be honest. And then I want to compare this one. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Exactly the same. But this one has more ranged chemical damage. And more chemical damage resistance. And more ability power. So we're definitely going to take this one. Found a spitter. So yeah, uh, we need to get a fire attack. Um, I guess that if I wanted to, then I could um, take one of these fire attacks from the Helion if I wanted to. Uh, in order to burn that away. Houndra. Does this affect all Houndra or... Is it like... Specific... Ones? Uh, blazing Breath. Make a big breath attack with a high chance to scorch enemies. 10 energy cost, cooldown 7. Deep attack. Blast can stun enemies. Launch speed cooldown 6. Scorch 40%. 3 seconds. 50% st stun for 2 seconds. Increases your sharp attack and crit chance with standard under attacks. Um, well, we could do the Blazing Breath in order to burn that away there. I mean, I guess so. Heal. Okay. And then, do we need to push this thing or what's going on? Ah, you see. So the game even has a little bit of uh, puzzle mechanics and stuff like that. Come on. Do I need to go in there? 
oh yes i need to go in there so you simply push that thing over there in order to open the gate and then after that you need to uh basically go in This ranged attack is really powerful. Like the these beasts are so powerful. I don't know why you would ever uh, not be in a battle in the beast form unless you run out of energy. Like if you run out of energy, yeah, sure, maybe maybe you would transform out of it then but uh, to be honest this beast mode is so powerful i only got a free attribute point I wish the game had a minimap. Uh, like a minimap would be really nice. I don't think the game has a minimap. doesn't look like there's any minimap options. I definitely think a minimap would be very good. Like if you if you play the game like that, you know, with ranged combat then this game essentially turns into the the accent you know that the accent is another top down um almost you could call it an arpg even though it's more like a twin stick shooter but you're essentially turning the game into a twin stick shooter at that point so um that's pretty cool it's something that a lot of games like diablo yeah you can't really run around like this and just shoot, 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 you know. Um, almost all of the ranged abilities and ranged spells in Diablo has a cooldown. Um, it just makes it not feel the same. So uh, you can definitely play the game like that, you know. Basically turning it into a twin stick shooter. Even though I am the type of player who more prefers to play a game as a classic ARPG, you know, like Diablo or anything like that, but it, even though I should specify Diablo 2, not Diablo 4. Okay, do we need to burn this again? Yes. Uh, I also would have liked it if you could see enemy outlines because I can't see shit over there. Like I can't see the enemies at all. So there's no enemy outlines. Uh, there's no fade. Like the, when the tree is in the way or when anything is in, a, in the way, it should fade away and uh, it's not doing that so 
in situations like that, when you're fighting enemies and there's something in the way, um, it really should uh, fade away, you know, you should be able to see the enemies, the enemies sh should not be obscured from your vision. So I have to push that other thing all the way over here, I will do that in a second, I first want to explore and all of that kind of stuff. The world is a little bit empty, like they they definitely could have added more enemies, it, it, it's a little bit empty. Like you shouldn't be able to run for two minutes at full speed without enc encountering a single enemy. That's not good. It makes the game feel empty, which the game is empty it, it's the really a lot more empty than what it rightfully should be you should be encountering enemies all over the place like a classic ARPG you shouldn't have to search for enemies Like, this entire area is just empty. Only balls. How can they make this entire place empty? Uh, I think we should push it over to the left side. I'm not too sure. there's something over there so how do we drop down from the top i'm assuming you can get to the top eventually Auto aim for ranged attacks could also definitely be better um, because the auto aim misses sometimes. So that means that the ranged combat will not feel very good sometimes because you're going to be missing a lot of your attacks because the, the auto aim is not particularly good. Teleport to creature. As a human, you can ride beasts, both conjures, active skills, and other players. You can also teleport to a mount anytime if it's available. G. How the hell does that work? G. G. I press G, nothing is happening. Okay, so we're up here now. Um, we still haven't gone in there. I'm not sure if we should have gone in there in the first place. to the shit out of enemies just by backpedaling constantly and attacking with ranged attacks you can kite the balls off of them now the camera does not enjoy being close to a cliff edge the camera freaks out
the uh, shock ability is really nice. What the fuck? You see, like there, the, the lock on, the auto lock on was really terrible. I missed like five times. Um, but uh, I was saying the uh, shock is really nice because it shocks them and then they stop moving. So you can just backpedal all the way and they will never reach you if you just continue shocking them. Okay, so we need to bring that thing over here. Okay, don't fall down, don't fall down. I need to remember about that thing over there. But we first need to get up there. I don't know how to get up there. Over this bridge, it's going to be <clears throat> really tight. I wish that they made the, the, the pushing a little bit easier. Like, it should lock on, you know, like it should lock on when you push. Um, like your character should lock onto the side and should not be able to slide up or down like that i mean it makes the game more difficult some people like that but i don't like it once again uh, pushing a box around is not particularly enjoyable in my opinion so the developers should make it as quick and painless as possible to push these boxes around in my opinion. Okay, so we should be able to go in there now. I don't know how we're going to get up there, but we should get up there eventually. I'm not too sure how. Let me just explore down here, because we haven't actually been... Okay, there we went through the black area now. I just wanted to make sure that there's nothing over here. Okay, so we're entering the abandoned mine. We could also have entered the abandoned mine on the other side, the way left side. But uh, we, we instead opted to enter it over here. There's a chest. How do we get up there? Okay, a little bit of stuttering. And then I suppose I should run and jump. Okay. Nope. Don't think that's gonna work. Maybe if we stand on top of the uh, the crate. If we can even do that. Anything else we are missing, maybe? Nothing we can activate here, or anything like that. Nothing here. None of these things over here can open. 
nothing up there. Yeah, so that seems like all very, very small area. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to run all the way, all the way back to the other place. Like over there. In order to get that stuff over there. But yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do that now. Perhaps sometime in the future we might come back here and then we're probably gonna spawn over there, which is just quick to run over there, maybe. I don't know, we will have to see. Okay, now I'm looking for a way up up this mountain. Okay, there's definitely not a quick way up this mountain. Unless the way up is around here somewhere, even though I didn't see anything like that. So, I doubt there's anything over there. There's nothing over here that I can see. That will allow us to go up. Yeah, so it's probably just into the cave and that's that. The load times are really nice. It's nice that you don't need to wait an age. Uh, how much damage is my current one? E 11 to 33. That one is better. I have a couple new DNAs as well. Even though that one is not better than the one that I have right now. Not better either. Uh, uh, this one is better. If you compare it, you can see literally the only difference is this one has more charge. But that is enough to, uh, to take it. How do you equip stuff? Like they don't allow you to equip stuff here. So you have to go out of this menu and then back in again. That's a little bit irritating. Do I need this? Electric spit, electric spit. So this one has four projectiles, but it does significantly less damage. Scavenger's clothes, that's definitely better. 15 to 45. to 56. That's way better. We also have... Ah, two levels. So... 
our energy right now is really really good like we honestly almost never run out of energy i think we can put one there our health is pretty good let's put one there and then what do we want do we want melee or do we want ranged or do we want element Uh, I think, well, element increases electric and heat and poison on both melee and ranged, and it increases ability power. So that is a very wide range of builds that you can do. Whereas this only increases ranged physical damage and this only increases merely physical damage. So I think elements is going to be the way to go, I think. But that's a 3% increase and these are fucking 10% increases and 6% increases. So still i think that element is not really that worth it to take i think probably these are still i mean if i don't run out of uh energy then i can constantly heal myself and obviously if i don't run out of health then i won't die so this is essentially a in immortal bolt even though Strictly speaking, I can still die. I still don't know what critically, critically no is. Well, let's take the healing. The healing so far has been really good. Do I want another one on this one? The, the power doesn't increase that much. Sharp, sharp damage. With standard Andra attacks. Standard Andra attacks. So does that in, include this? Because here, it doesn't even say standard. Like, the, the, the word standard isn't said here at all. And then here, also not. So, uh, it's a little bit confusing. Like, what is a standard attack is it only the attacks on the actual beast or is it also any attacks that you have equipped that are part of the beast so it's a little bit strange it's not clear what it actually is what the benefit actually is i mean i'm gonna take this but I, I just would have wanted to know exactly um, which attacks benefit and which attacks don't benefit. Water looks like really cool in this game, I have to say. Like there's ripples and just everything looks cool. With regards to water. Those fucking things hit me twice and I almost I'm almost almost dead. Crazy. These things are bloody powerful. It's good that I took health because holy hell. 
I might have been dead after those two hits if I didn't have the extra health. Can I get more? No. Only that one. Okay, I guess that's that. I mean, the map is bigger, but... I'm assuming I can't reach those other bigger areas, I'm assuming. It would have been nice if they showed you which areas you can go and which areas you can't go on the map a little bit clearer. And now we're on a completely different map. This must be Ira's camp, but where is she? This cannot be certainly not a proper environment for any repairs. Maya, so is this how it works? You just pop into my head when you feel like it. Blah blah blah. Yeah, I'm not gonna read all of this. Thank you very much. How's my inventory looking? Uh, it's actually getting a little bit uh, congested to be honest can we teleport back to base or oh electrical attack okay that's interesting uh... Dial house. Okay, and then we want to sell. Was it you who wanted mushrooms? I can't even remember. It doesn't show on the map um, the quest uh, person is who wants the the, the specific thing like obviously now i've co collected mushrooms um as far as i remember it's this guy who wanted the mushrooms but like it doesn't show you so i have the mushrooms the quest can be completed and yet it's not being shown on the map so i would have just wanted it to be shown on the map don't you want to talk to me <laughs> you, can, you can even bump them. I like that. If you can fuck with the with the NPCs, I always like that. Uh, okay, so he doesn't want to talk to me. Where was the one that wanted the mushrooms? Fish. Fish. Oh, that was like at the top. I remember the the um. Uh, the the uh, um, Titanox Titanox I think was the name let's have a look ah this guy wasn't even shown on the map I found your mushrooms there you go do, do, do. give it to me blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I got a sword out of it a poison sword apparently backstage oh yeah that was yeah 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 
Uh, Ira might have. Wait, where's Ira? Ira? Doesn't show me where Ira is. Okay, yeah, you guys don't want anything to do with me. See, it doesn't show where Ira is. That's another issue. Even when you click on the on the quest, it gives you zero information. So even though the map looks nice and it displays the environment very well, unfortunately there's a couple of ways how it lacks information. Um, okay, so first off, let's have a look at my uh, items. Can you deal wield? I don't even know if you can deal wield. Uh, let's see. So one. This one. No, you can't deal wield. Okay. It's unfortunate. Okay, this one does 26 to 54. 26 to 54. I don't think I'm going to get anything more powerful than that. I also think that generally these items are not very good. The, the item icons are not very good. Like, you could get a lot more information um, from the icons. Like, it's, it's not easy to see what they are like you have to look at the number the number doesn't tell you anything other than the level of the item um, I just think you could really make it better make the item display better it's not particularly good if you have to hover over each and every one of the items just to see what they are and if this one is better than this one you have to hover over it you can't just like see it at a glance you know then it's not a particularly good um system you know like uh, there should be an item score system or anything like that, you know, just a little thing. Then you can see, oh, this one is a 50, but this one is a 55. So this one is probably, according to the game, better than this one, you know. And right now there's nothing like that in the game. Okay, I don't think I need anything else here, so I think I can sell. Sell. Uh, we just right click on 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 the stuff I'm assuming. Just right click. Oh no. R. R. Okay. Wow, eighty eight. Why does that one sell for 88 and then like these other things sell for 19 and 18 and stuff like that?
Okay, that's okay. Not bad. Uh, okay, and then we have to go back to the teleporter. Can we like fast travel? No. Insert or remove alterants in items. What does that even mean? Alterant. Can be inserted into item. Item level increased by... 45% all damage increased by 36. So, oh, is that that little icon over there? So, this one doesn't have anything, but this one does have one. Okay. Okay, interesting. So some some items have have sockets. It's essentially a socket system, and some don't have sockets. Okay, I, I should have probably looked at the items that I just sold before selling them because I probably sold a couple of items that have sockets that I could have perhaps used in other equipment maybe but uh, I guess that's uh, just part of not having a tutorial unfortunately uh, yeah we can just continue I think let's double up on health Okay, now we can take the next level. Increases damage and decreases the chance of shoddy hits while deal wield. A shoddy hit deals off damage. Well, I can't even deal wield. So are you telling me that if I take this, then I can deal wield? Is that what you're telling me? Flame strike. Call down fire from above that deals more, more damage closer to the target. Okay, so it deals with 120, and that's it. There's no burn damage or nothing like that. Burning Passion. Uh, gain increased heat damage and scorch duration with melee attack. Okay, but that's only affecting the Flame Blade skill, probably. Okay, well, let's take... Uh, At least one in dual, dual wield because I do want to do wield because I do have a a single hander equipped right now. Even though now I don't have something to equip with my single hander because I sold all of the other stuff. But uh, what can you do? I guess. lock-on system can definitely be improved a little bit like it's not terrible 
but you miss like 20% of your hits. And the enemy uh, recognition can definitely be improved because it's not easy to see the enemies. This is going to be a boss fight. fucking dead was she supposed to die oh wait almost wanted to say what the fuck can she actually die okay blah 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 not gonna read that Okay, so that's cool. Now we can actually uh, transform into that. Oh, and the demo is done. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Kickstarter, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so we were aware of that. Okay, so is that literally all that you can do in this version? Let's see, will they allow me to join again? Continue? No? Yes? Ah! Oh. There we go! Blah blah blah! Doo -doo -doo. It says yes!
Yeah, you're gonna have to do a lot of reading in this game. Like, I would honestly just prefer if it was just, uh, like, fully, fully voiced or not voiced at all. Uh, because I'm allergic to reading, so I, I tend to avoid games where you have to read unless it's like a very special case you know there's very few games where i will actually go out of my way to read you know and let's bump up this the uh energy okay so we should be able to deal wield now having bites uh, energy cost 10 yeah, that's not very good in cases you and your riders energy regeneration while being ridden also increases your physical resistance so uh, only while being ridden not when you're solo only when being ridden and i don't think i can like in any way shape or form benefit from this while playing solo like if you're playing co-op or multiplayer you can benefit from this but i don't believe you can benefit from it solo so that's not a particularly useful skill solo uh but okay we now have this one so this one, wow, that's quite powerful. So yeah, it's definitely more powerful than the previous one and more uh, ability power. Double the ability power. In fact, more arranged electric. Wow, yeah, this one, this one is really quite powerful. So these shoot out more projectiles, but um i prefer the 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 single the single one uh doo -doo -doo, damage per second fire rate six shots per second wow uh, but the maximum distance is three meters which is very low So yeah, I think we're sticking to these. Uh, okay, what do we need to do now? Travel to town. Follow the road. Into the mine. Ira. You are Ira. Oh, there we go. Uh, I guess the crossbow, I don't know. Okay, so she gave me a bow. Fantastic. Uh, build a nest in the middle of the city, attacking anyone who comes close. So I need to find that nest somehow. And then a reunion. Exit via the main entrance and follow the road eastward to reach Ramox. Okay, so that's a main gate over there. Forge. Uh, Charlie needs an electronic plasma shifter to repair the forge in her workshop. It could potentially be found on a scavenger market. And then town pests. Where's this thing? Nest in the middle of the city, okay? Uh, let's go have a look.
Didn't I literally just get a quest like that? So, in the middle of the city. Over there. And though it's not really what I would call the middle of the city, no. So, like, wow, you can even bump into the the boats. You can literally, <laughs> you can move the boats. Let's see how far we can move it. Well, I'm rotating it, but I'm not moving it. Yeah, doesn't look like it wants to move, but it does rotate. That's really cool. I mean, that shit you can't do in Diablo or anything like that. You can actually interact with the NPCs, bump them around. You can interact with the objects in the world. Like, that's a really cool. I mean, it's completely useless, but it's really cool. So I'm not seeing... Um, any uh, enemies it says in the middle of the city but it doesn't show me ah oh, this gate is open now area not oh, okay I understand let's see Oh, is it this one? Destroy nests. Is that my quest? Uh, level 6 to 9, level 9. Ah, let's go for this one. Falls to the wall. I'm not level 9 yet, so it might be a little bit difficult, but let's have a look. Uh, just destroy nests. Do, 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 do. When completed, you'll be able to travel home and collect your reward. You can abandon your mission. Okay. Yes, thank you. I already saw that. Holy balls, the map is big. Okay. I really need to look out on this map. Ouch. Okay, why did I do zero damage there? Only balls this thing does a lot of damage. Why did I do zero damage with an attack there? Please tell me. Yeah, these things, like, they're so fucking fast, and you can't dodge them. Okay, so they get pulled back. No, oh, I didn't say to do that. Fuck off. Zero, zero, zero. What bullshit is that? Ouch. Hundred and fifty. Got to be kidding me. 
250 damage in a single hit. 280. Now, you don't have your, your big bad bastard anymore, so now I can just destroy you. You guys are absolutely nothing. Oh. Alright, you don't like getting attacked with melee attacks, I see. Melee attacks do a little bit more against you. Ouchies, 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 ouchies. They're really um, resistant against electric, so against those it's better to use um, melee. And these bot bastards here at the bottom. Ouchies, ouchies, oh you! <laughs> Yeah, those, uh, those ones are spicy. And even when you run away full speed, they just... They're so fast. It's crazy. Let's see. Yeah, and yeah, that sucks. You get, you get level 9 equipment, but uh, there's really no use doing a level that, that I... Uh, you, like a like a map that's a higher level than what you are because you can't even use the equipment so it's actually better to just do a a uh, appropriate level map instead of going for gold and um, doing more difficult content you know but yeah um I think I am pretty much done. I mean, I've seen enough to uh, make my conclusion of the game. Uh, quite honestly, I don't even need to say it, but this is definitely a game that has impressed me. Like, honestly, there's a lot of stuff that are really, really impressive about the game. There's a couple of things like the... the tracking of the quests don't work like you can click on any of them nothing changes the quest location isn't shown nothing like that so i like the map a lot the map is really good but uh, it doesn't really help if you can't see a lot of these different things on the map it simply doesn't help uh on top of that uh, there's no mini map I really think the game would benefit a lot from having a minimap. Um, when you equip an item, like let's say we equip that one, it jumps to the screen. And then you equip another item, boom, it jumps to the screen each and every time. And uh, I don't think that is something that should happen. Uh, also, like I said, you should have a better indicator on how to um, uh, which item is better than another one like it should show you maybe a little number to show you this one is a is a is a 50 score this one is a 55 score so this one would according to the games whatever a deterministic algorithm of the stats it should be better than than, than another one you know um, otherwise then that no real issues here uh, I feel that stability and battery are a little bit overpowered um, 
or the fragmentation power element should be increased a little bit. Um, but otherwise than that, no real issues. Um, no real issues here. I feel that you could definitely have more choices here. Um, but it, it's okay. You know, it will definitely take you probably 20 hours to reach the end of the the stats over here and then um i don't believe you can respect i don't believe you can respect so the the I, I i chose union at the beginning and that is simply what i have to stick with now so um i believe we can go over here to respec let me just make 100 percent certain over here class skills yes yes i think you should be able to respec over here um it would be nice if you could like use skills from different classes as well so you can maybe have five points in Helion and then five points in in uh, what was the other one Crusader, and then five points in in Rafe, you know, or Raf, whatever it was called. That would be really nice, but right now it looks like it's something that you can't do in the game. Uh, but it would be really nice, and like I say, maybe more skills because these, even though there's choices once you start to reach here at the end the choices really die off really quickly so i would just like a lot more choices a lot more passive choices and active skill choices as well and um the beast system i like the beast system uh, even though there's less choices here than what you get over here um there's all of the choices are different for each of this, the the beasts. So over here you get like electric missile stuff and electric, you know, like chain lightning and ball of lightning, all of that kind of stuff. And then on the other ones you get completely different stuff. And then on the other ones over here also you get completely different stuff. So each and every... Um, uh, uh, beast has a different talent tree or a skill tree or a passive tree whatever you want to call it so that's really really nice um so yeah quite honestly the 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 beast the beast mastery system is better than the base base class system in my opinion right now even though this third um one that is locked over here could potentially be be uh, better than these two combined but i just want more choices than the choices that are currently available here um otherwise in that the tutorial is bad like that there's a lot of stuff that the tutorial doesn't tell you so the developer should definitely work on the tutorial uh voice acting uh, the little bit of voice acting that there was is good, but I want to see more voice acting. I want to see the entire game voice acting. And to be quite honest, these days with AI voices, it's really, really easy to put voice acting in your entire game. Because literally all of this text over here is able to be voice acted by an ai voice and i actually re regarding this subject recently played a little bit of world of warcraft again after not playing it for many years and i was absolutely shocked by the one mod that the, there was the one mod and if you've ever played World of Warcraft, you will know that 99% um, of World of Warcraft is not voiced. So you you go and you talk to the to the dude, and um, 
it is just text over here to the left. It's just a whole bunch of text. And you have to read the text and then say accept. But there is now a mod which AI, uh, AI uh, not, not translates, but transcribes all of the text. So, and it's actually very well done. Like, if you speak to a dwarf, then the text is spoken in the voice of a dwarf. It really sounds like a dwarf. If you speak to a goblin quest giver, the, the text is transcribed in the voice of a goblin. If you speak to a human, an elf, a tauren, an undead, it all is transcribed in different voices for each race. It's not even one voice, like an uh, undead, for instance. It's not just one undead voice. There's different voices for the undead, which it's just, I was absolutely shocked by how good the voices are, and some of the quests have more than a minute, it's like an entire wall of text that you normally would have to read, but that mod, it's a free mod that you just download, and it transcribes the entire wall of fucking text. And what's even better is that you can just accept the quest, you can walk away, and the uh, voice continues. So, with, with a little um, a little video here at the bottom, a, 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 a portrait video of the character that is talking to you. So, it is just an absolute fucking game changer for the entire World of Warcraft because Blizzard, the small indie company, are so fucking stingy when it comes to the game. I mean, how, how many billions of dollars have Blizzard made from World of Warcraft? You know, tens of billions of dollars. And yet, the cheap motherfuckers don't, after 20 years of the game being released, more or less, still don't have voice acting for the quests in the bloody game. And here comes a, a, a modder, uh, and he makes a mod which transcribes the text for all of the quests in the entire game, 20 years worth of quests, and it sounds really fucking good. So, AI transcribing is, is really, really good. I've even seen videos where someone speaks German, and it is transcribed uh, and translated in real time into English, and you wouldn't even know it. It matches up to their voice perfectly. So, um, yeah, word to the wise of the developers, look into, if, if you don't want to spend money on, on voice actors, which I, I don't condone, but I understand that not every indie developer has $50,000, $100,000, whatever, to throw at voice acting. I totally understand that. Then look into AI uh, transcribing and it, it really the voices are really really good it's not like the old days where you go to a a, a text to speech website and the text to speech sounds really shitty like these days you will not even realize that the voice that you're hearing is an ai generated voice um look at that npc freaking out over there <laughs> um 
it's just really really fantastic so quite honestly there's no real um excuse to not have fully voiced games these days because literally you just uh, uh, feed the voice lines these voice lines into the transcriber and the transcriber does the rest so yeah i definitely think the entire game should be voiced but the voices that there are in the game right now is fine like i don't have an issue with the voices that are currently in the game um otherwise than that like i said the map that map that we were on with the with the mountains yeah it's really barren it's really really barren the developer developers definitely should add more enemies just fucking everywhere 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 just more enemies um and then like i said uh the fact that you can't select your frame rate is not good uh i don't really see now that i i'm thinking about it i didn't really see motion blur and i didn't really see depth of field either so i'm assuming the game doesn't have it which is good because i don't like depth of field and i don't like motion blur so it's good that the game doesn't have it seemingly but there should be an option for it so um i hope that the game doesn't have it but if the game does have it then there should be a option for to disable motion blur and disable depth of field um otherwise than that uh there should be a way to turn off subtitles because uh the game does have si subtitles with the uh, areas that are voiced and you should be able to turn that off and currently there is no way to turn that off and then uh, uh, dual, key, dual key bindings is also something that should be put into the game dual key bindings for the keyboard is quite important so um that's also something that should probably be added but honestly otherwise than that i can't really see any real other issues i'm really quite impressed with the game and i definitely look forward to playing the game when it fully releases like we can continue playing the game right now we can go back to that other area where we were we missed a whole bunch of stuff there we can't go through the main gate right now, but uh, we can do a whole bunch of extra mission boards. Uh, we can uh, go back to the River Edge Mine, like I said. We still have a couple of quests that we can do, but quite honestly, I don't want to spoil the game for myself. I, I would rather play the game, continue to play the game, when the game is fully released. So, quite honestly... I, I I have no real reservations with recommending the game. Um, we haven't seen a single real bug or glitch that affects our gameplay. Um, everything works fine. Um, I'm just really quite impressed with the game. When the game releases, like... Because this game is an ARPG, you have to compare it against other ARPGs. So you're going to have to compare it against something like uh, the, the Accent. Uh, something like perhaps Synthetic 2. Even though Synthetic 2 is way more of a twin stick shooter than it is an ARPG. But... Um, synthetic to uh, the accent, um, a little bit of Diablo, a little bit of Titan Quest, a uh, little bit of Last Epoch, a little bit of uh, Path of Exile. You're going to have to compare the game against all of those games. And quite honestly, I would quite happily pay $30 for this, this game. Quite happily. Uh, $40 would probably be my limit. I think $40 would be a little bit steep. 
for the game depending on how much content the developers add to the game how much content the game has um, but otherwise $30 is I think totally reasonable for this game $25 would be a fantastic price for this game I think um, but yeah I can definitely recommend the game and like I said um, I will put a link to the Kickstarter in the description below if you guys want to check it out and uh, yeah I will definitely be playing the game once the game fully releases as I said at the beginning the developer sent me a code for the game so thanks a lot to the developer for that I will definitely keep an eye out on the game when the game updates on Steam I always have a look at the games and when I see oh this game has received an update then I always check the Steam page to see if the game is still in early access or if it's fully released or anything like that so i'll definitely be checking the game out when the game releases again so yeah guys that is pretty much it thanks a lot for watching as always you guys know what to do if you want to support the channel you can head over to patreon.com forward slash lfp to support the channel and uh, that's the best way for you to see more content in the future is by supporting me on there so yeah guys that's it thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys next time